सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस नो वीडियो ऑफ स्किल ऑफ इंडिया आई एम अभिषेक वर्मा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दी हाइवन एट सीरीज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आर न्यू इनहेरिटेंस स्ट्रेटेजी एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी जॉइंट इनहेरिटेंस स्ट्रेटेजी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स डायरेक्टली गेट स्टार्टेड विद अ टॉपिक नाउ बिफोर डायरेक्टली मूविंग टू दी जॉइंट इनहेरिटेंस स्ट्रेटेजी लेट मी जस्ट रिमाइंड यू वट वी वर डूइंग सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वी यूज टू हैव अ पेट क्लास and there we used to have all the common variables like name gender and type and then we decided that in order to provide the scenario of inheritance in our pet is an application let's divide them in two different parts so one is going to be the domestic pet other one is going to be the wild pet for domestic pet we just know the date of birth and for the wild pet we just know the place of birth and these three variables are going to be common then in the last video we discussed about the single table inheritance so i won't go in more detail but i'll just show you that okay this is the owner table this is the pet table and here the disadvantage which we were facing was that although like here there was an advantage also that there was a single table only but then the disadvantage was that there were too many null values so assume that in our case there were only two child classes and in both the child class there was a one different variable only but imagine if we have four to five different child classes and in every child class we have multiple different variables then you will see that first of all your table size is going to become very very big another part is that in your table there will be too many null values which is not a good practice for your sql tables another part is that here you need this extra column category and this category column is just needed so that you can differentiate between two different kinds of pets or multiple different child classes yeah so this was all about single table inheritance if you wish i will provide the i link on top of this particular video here so that you can directly go to that video and you can see in detail and also i recommend that first of all you watch that video so that you can see that what are the code changes also required then here we see that in today's video we are having joint inheritance now our owner table is going to look as it is same without any change the change is only in the pet table and now our pet table is going to look something like this so here we are going to have only the common variables so id is the auto generated primary key hence we are having it here and then we have name gender and type of the pet because these are the common variables now you will say what about the uncommon variables or the child variables so here we will be creating two child tables so i can go for this particular word like in classes we say child classes so here we can say child tables yeah although here we don't have any inheritance in that particular way but just in order to explain you the scenario i'm using the term child table so here we will be having a domestic pet table where i will be having id so this id you can consider as a prime uh, foreign key not a primary key because primary key is already created in the main pet table so here this id is going to be the foreign key and with the help of this id you can map it with the main pet table then beside this you will have all the child variables here like date of birth or whatever extra you will be having similarly we are having the wild pet table so again the same thing this id is going to be the foreign key and then you have place of birth and whatever extra variables you are having now here the advantages which you will get is that number one in terms of classes also now you have three class one parent class two child classes so in tables also you have same kind of strategy one parent table two child tables so it is easy to understand the scenario another advantage is now you don't need any extra column something like category because now we have separate tables so there is no need to discriminate any more third advantage is that now there is not going to be too many null values so that is also again an advantage here only a uh, one single disadvantage which i can see here is that you when you go for the single table so at that time you are having only one table so whenever you are going to perform any kind of query there won't be any joins because it just needs to pick the data from one single table but here whenever you are going to pick a data or whenever you wish to read a data then each and every time you need to perform a join although in hibernate you don't need to worry much because hibernate is going to take care of this but whenever you need to perform this on your own then some join is required here because some of the data you need to read from the pet table some of the data you need to read from the domestic pet table so 
I will tell you the disadvantage as well as advantage of this strategy. Now let's directly move on towards the code and see how we can implement this. So now we are in our IDE and I have already started with this demo 14. Again, as always, the demo 14 is just a copy paste of the previous demo 13. So again, I request you to watch the previous video completely so you can see what are the changes in different classes. Because in this particular video, we are just going to change three classes. That is pet class, wild pet and the domestic pet. And believe me, there is not going to be any other change because that's how the things are going to be easy now. So first of all, let's go to this pet. So here, first of all, the changes that here last time we mentioned at the rate inheritance so that we can implement inheritance in our classes. So let's go in this. Now here you remember that we used to provide the strategy by default it is single table so no need to mention. Now we are going for a different value so we need to provide it here also. So what I'll do is I'll put a bracket here and then I'm going to provide the value and the data type is going to be inheritance type here. So let me again copy from this. Let me provide it here and say dot and it is going to be joined. So this I have provided let me just save it. Now we don't need anything like this discriminator column because now although we are going to have separate tables so we don't need this so let me just remove it and yeah that's it. So here we just need only these many changes there is no extra change available here. So you just need to provide this and add the rate inheritance. Now coming on to the child classes so let's go to domestic pet first of all. Now do we need this discriminator value the answer is no because this value we used to provide in the category column. Now we don't have that column so we don't need this annotation here. Now the next thing is that this time we are going to be have a separate table. So table you can see that we can get it with the help of add the rate entity. But if you want to give it a different name then again you need to provide this add the rate table annotation. So let me just copy from here and paste it here. The advantage is that I don't need to provide the whole name I can just write this much domestic underscore pet underscore table. Now we know that for each and every domestic pet birth of date is going to be mandatory. So hence what I will do is I will just say here nullable equals to false because by default it is true in nature and let's again save it and let's again say control shift O so in order to remove the unwanted inputs. Same change we just need in the wild pet so again let me just remove it from here and what I can do is I can copy from this I can paste it here and instead of domestic this time I can mention here wild and again we know for each and every wild pet place of birth is mandatory so I can just mention here nullable equals to false. So now this is also false and again this particular part is done and that's it. Our pet table is our pet class is ready our domestic pet class is ready our wild pet class is also ready. Besides this you don't need any other change. If you are just doing it from the scratch then obviously you need to make some of the changes in the database config. I won't tell here because I have already covered in demo 13. Also you just need to make some of the changes in mapper util again I have covered there so I'm not going to cover it again otherwise you will say that okay every time you make big videos so this time my goal is to make a shorter video with precise thing and now let me just start this particular stuff so I have already cleaned up my database so that is one thing which I have done here so you see that it has created four tables for me this time so we have domestic pet table owner table pet table wild pet table now you may say that okay how is it possible that it created domestic pet table first and then these tables so it is showing logs just on the basis of these names so that's why it is able to show the logs and in terms of table directly there is no inheritance as such so with the help of hibernate only we are able to see that particular inheritance yeah so this is the thing we have all the four tables available with us then you can go to this src main resources and obviously there is a change in script also so again you need to execute the script so first of all you need to enter the data in the pet table if you are doing manually only in that case I'm saying so first enter data there so that it can generate you the primary key and then you can enter the data in your domestic pet table and similarly in your wild pet table and the owner table so let's go here so if I just refresh this so you see my owner table is going to look as it is same 
so this is how it is going to look like and then my pad table is going to look something like this so in the pad table my id is a primary key auto generated yeah then i'll go to my domestic pad table just two columns and this time in the domestic pad table this id is like a foreign key or it's a primary key also but it's a foreign key also in this particular table but it is not auto generated here it is copying from the main pad table same way in the wild pad table it is coming copying from the main pad table here and if you wish you can just say control a and execute this many of the times you say that this particular text is not visible but for this i'll suggest you that okay this is just a script you can see the same thing from the code also yeah nothing much to worry so let me just refresh this so you can see all the data is available here so for all the 36 so 36 pets are available here and same way 36 pets are going to be available in your wild pet table and in the main pet table you will have the data of all the 72 pets but only the common data now as i mentioned you that here again i'm not going to execute each and every option one by one because that is something which you can do here very easily what i'll just do is i'll execute this fifth request here because i guess this is something interesting to see here so i'll click on this five and let's enter the id as one yeah let's see how many number of queries it is going to perform so when we are performing this particular kind of thing so here we see that it says select pet id from something like this where this is not null then when and it is executing it something like this so you can see it is just a very big query so here we are having some joins also available yeah so that is some important part which i wanted to show you because this time since you are having separate tables so you will say that it can be an advantage also but in terms of query it can be a disadvantage also so now it is your choice whether you want to go with a single table or you want to, want to go with the joint strategy or you wish to wait for my third video where i will discuss one more strategy with you yeah so till then that's it from this particular video and i guess if this video is shorter let me just check the time so i just verified that this video is going to be shorter enough so let me just take some time to here advertise myself so here you can see that on our channel all the videos are available all these playlists are available but one thing which i want from you is that still you people are not watching our videos regularly you see that this last video which i released so almost more than a day has been passed but only 35 views and see your subscribers is 1000 plus so this is not a good practice please watch these videos you can tell me on which day i should release generally i wish to release on every friday only besides this we also have this particular telegram channel and the link is available in the description of each and every video so don't say that you don't know the link of this so it's available in the description only in the top it's also available here so you can easily become part of it benefit is again i'm not going to provide anything paid here things will remain free of course the only thing is you will get notified very soon as soon as i'm going to provide or as soon as i'm going to release the video so that's the advantage here yeah third one is that this is my repository hibernate repository and all other repositories are available in my github and you can see all of them are public in nature so whether it is hibernate maven jdbc date time api optional class streams lambda exception collection generics currency multi-threading each and every particular code is available free of cost for you so you can just download it enhance it and my request is that first try the same code as it is the, so that you can tell me whether it is working fine or not once you understood it is working fine then you can try to enhance the scenario yeah and here if we go this is the third thing which i just wanted to show you so you can connect with me on the linkedin also so here i'm available this is my site for the linkedin also again all the links are available in the description section so i hope you enjoyed the video and if yes then you know what you need to do you just need to like the video you need to provide a comment also believe me i reply each and every comment so here you see all the comments whichever i'm getting so i read your comments i like your comments and i wish to reply also to all your comments yeah but for this the first thing is you need to comment to the video yeah so you comment there and besides this you subscribe to our channel and you share it with your friends also and keep on watching our videos so that we can grow our community not only till thousand 
but even to some 10,000 and lakhs and crores. Also. So that's it. Thanks everyone.